Greetings to anyone watching this video. My name is Juan. This is a presentation on the oldest house in Manhattan. It is called Morris Jumel Mansion and it is located uptown in the neighborhood Washington Heights. This is the facade of Morris Jumel Mansion. Construction for this house began in 1765 and a British colonel named Roger Morris was the person who financed it. This house was not to be a permanent residence but a summer home. Its location on top of a hill, which Morris named Mount Morris, was perfect for that. Uninterrupted summer breezes in the warm New England summers would have abounded here. Imagine an unobstructed view. From where I'm standing right now in the portico, you would have been able to see the City Harbor to the south and the Hudson River and Jersey Palisades to the west. But Morris and his wife Mary Phillips did not spend all of the summers they would have liked to in this house. They were loyal to the British monarch and because of this, when the American colonies started their war of independence, the Morris family left for England. Later in 1810, a Frenchman and wine merchant named Stephen Jumel and his American wife Eliza purchased the house. Mr. Jumel died in 1832, but Eliza lived in this house until her death in 1865. In 1776, during the American War of Revolution, General George Washington opted for this mansion to serve as its headquarters for a battle that was fought in nearby Harlem Heights. In 1790, he returned as first president of the United States and dined with members of his office. Included in this dinner were John Adams, Thomas Jefferson, and John Quincy Adams, all future presidents of the United States. The style in which this house is constructed reflects the style of Andrea Palladio. Palladio was a very well-known Italian Renaissance architect who wrote books that made his style of architecture one of the most appreciated and applied throughout Europe for centuries. Here we have a two-story building with a portico that runs through both floors and supported by four Tuscan columns. The classical forms that we see here are at the heart of the Palladian aesthetic. In the balcony on the second floor we see a three-part window with the center section with an arch over it. Windows like these are iconic of the Palladian architectural vocabulary. There are also overtones that reflect the Georgian style of architecture. The Georgian style emerged and was popular in England and its colonies during the reign of the first four kings from the House of Hanover. We're talking about from the years from 1720 to about 1840. This style is in part influenced by the Palladian style itself. If we take away the portico and replace the Palladian window with two of the others, we have a typical Georgian facade. I'm not going to go into detail on the interior of this building, but if you visit yourself, you will find furnishings in the French Empire style. These furnishings were brought in by Stephen and Eliza Jumel when they moved in. The city of New York purchased the mansion in 1903 making this site a monument to the nation's past. This cobblestone road is the main carriage road that leads to the house. The townhouses you see to the right and left of this picture were constructed in 1882 in the style that was popular in New York at the time. Together with the Morris Jumel mansion, this area over here with these houses is historical territory protected by the city of New York. This brings my presentation to an end. If interested in the art and architecture found in the city of New York, please subscribe. I will upload new videos, at least one or more, every week. Thank you for watching.